Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. We are live once again here. Quarterfinal action for the IRT. We're at the University of Minnesota. This is the 2024 McNamara Minnesota Hall of Fame Racquetball Championships. I'm Fabio Soto for the IRT welcoming you. Fantastic Friday, second of our quarterfinal action. King Wazalanchuk took out in straight games Jake Bredenbeck. He advanced to tomorrow's semifinals, but for now, Rodrigo Montoya, the defending champion of this event, will be first to serve. He won the toss against a very feisty, tough Eric Trujillo who took out Eric Alanatera in an upset earlier today in the round 16s. Was Trujillo making great strides. In Sioux Falls, he took out Jake Bredenbeck. Also, want to welcome my co-host, Mr. Robbie Collins. Robbie, welcome to Fantastic Friday quarterfinal action. How's it going, Fabio? So far, so good. Uh, you know, I got to tell you, what a match that we have with Kane and, and Jake in two. Yep. What a battle, I got to tell you. But right now, Rodrigo trying to defend his championship here in Minneapolis. What are your thoughts on this one? Well, this is the up-and-comer versus the current, right? This yep. is... Montoya is, I think, at an all-time high rank on tour, correct? Yes, that is correct. Number two. Number two, defending champ of this tournament. And, um, you know, Eric, my doubles partner. There you go. You know, I want to see him succeed, but it's a tall task ahead. Tall task indeed, but, you know, Trujillo took out Jake at Sioux Falls. Yes. Which was a surprising upset, and I got to tell you, so... He is getting more confident. He's getting better as a player. Absolutely. No, Eric has the tools to be successful in this match. It's going to just be a matter of can he put it together? Can he string along good runs, points, defend well against Montoya? Montoya is a lot to deal with on the court. You know, just like right there, nice splat from Montoya. Jeez. Four quick points for Rodrigo Montoya. Yeah. And the biggest thing with Montoya is he's comfortable here. Yes, he is. All right, he's he feels this court, you know, is coming into his own, especially in a serve game. You know, I mentioned it a few times already in the broadcast, but last year when he won the final versus De La Rosa, he had 14 aces. Jeez. And versus Moscoso in the semifinals, I think he had 12. So this wow. has been good court for him serving. Yeah. Serving some bombs. Trujillo, side out right there, zero serving five. And, you know, if Rodrigo's going to hit his drive serve that far off the back wall, those are the types of, of swings that Eric has to make. He has to take those setups. He has to put the ball away. Great serve. Fantastic. That's a point. What a good way to start for Trujillo. As soon as he gets in the service box, he makes a point. That's great. Fabio, how old is Rodrigo? 28, I believe. 28. Yeah. He's still a young gun. Sizable age difference between these two. Mm -hmm. And it's... Wow, another great serve from Eric. Eric has more time there than you know he feel than he's actually showing. You know he rushed that a little bit, ran into the ball. Has a little more time. Oh wow, <laughs> wow! You the, had you had a better angle of view of that one. The glass monster strikes right the glass there. Glass monster. Trujillo just, I think he's betting big right now. Timeout requested by Trujillo at 7-1. Players take a one-minute break. We will as well. We'll be back here on IRT Live. My name is Jake Brenbeck, and I play with Gearbox. I personally love a solid frame. I just, I've always loved how Gearbox is felt, and it's, there's no better frame on the market. 
My mindset in racquetball and in life, because I think sports and life just coincide, they're great representations of each other, is you have to work hard, understand that there are going to be setbacks, but if it's something that you want, there's really no stopping you. And that's kind of how I live. I just go after what I want. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We're live once again here. Game number one still. Montoya on a roll here. He was up 5-0, then 1-5, then 7-1. That's a good serve. Uh, almost. He did put a racket on that one. Didn't reach the front wall, though. And it's just a great angle from Montoya because he's not quite getting it here to the corner. It's bouncing right mm -hmm. at about 35, 37 feet. Yeah on that angle on the side wall and it's just stretching Eric out and then it's hitting it so hard that it's even if it touches the side wall it's giving Eric problems. Oh what a get from Eric. Get that. Oh get up. Oh wow. Nice sequence right there. Good serve. Montoya. One nine, let's see if Eric can get some momentum going here. He hit a couple great drive serves to the left when he was in the box last. Short serve. Well Montoya to get here, he went through Jaime Mancilla and then Sam Bradenbeck, he is yet to lose a game. He's won both of them in two straight. Through here, though, Edwin Galicia, he beat in the first round, but that was in the tiebreaker. And then Alan Atera in two straight. That's a great win for Eric. I don't, I don't recall them ever playing on tour against each other. No, I think they have in Mexican Nationals, but I okay. can't recall the result, though. Yeah. Can't recall that. A Trujillo and Montoya right here. Winner of this one takes on King Wazalenchuk tomorrow. Yeah. That's great a great shot. play. Great shot by Trujillo. Yeah. So I want to remind everybody after this match, Conrado Moscoso will take on Thomas Carter, who upset Kadim Carrasco earlier. So Carter making an appearance in the quarterfinals. Getting hot. He's two weeks away from playing it in his home court. Yep. Yep. Wow, oh. Trujillo. Great play. Montoya fishing to see if that was a short serve, but no, he ain't getting any love. Yeah, and you know, Eric, even though he doesn't have any points on the board right now, serving well. Hitting some great drive serves. That's going to get him opportunities. He's just got to hang in there. The old cliche, let's work one point at a time here, but he has the weapon to get himself back in the match. Bob Nick. Oh, that's pretty good. Got him. Oh. See, that was another opportunity, Fabio. Yeah. You know, it's just he's got to put that one away. And uh, Montoya is still live in the doubles with his partner, Curtis Cullen. Yep. They defeated uh, Momo Zalada and Carlos Ramirez earlier. Ooh. Wow. Yeah. Get by Eric off the back wall. Ah, too many times. Great pass by Eric. Eric not going away here. Not easily, no.
Tejillo still trailing by six. Short serve. So there's an appeal. So one up and one down. Yep. I thought it was short. Yeah. From my angle. From my angle, it seemed short as well. Yep. Big setup. Another setup. Yep. A great cross court backhanded shot. Yeah, I think Eric needed to do a little more with that than flick it to the ceiling there. He had an opportunity to make a shot, decided to go ceiling ball. Didn't work out. Oh, that's a good serve from Montoya. Down the line winner. Just jamming the glass and creates an opportunity for Montoya. 10 serves three. Well, Montoya still has his timeout. I think he's gonna hit the exact same thing here. He's gonna hit hard in the glass. It's an ace. Oof. It looked good from this angle. When I'm, yeah. Yeah, it looked good. That was a closer one to appeal yes. than the one that Eric actually did. Yes, uh, I agree. Set up. That's what Eric's got to do. Good jam from Eric. Set up. Oh, Montoya tried to go behind the back there. Trujillo. Down by seven. Again. Off the back wall. Stuck on the glass. Set up. I love how Montoya puts his whole body into that shot when he gets that forehand. Yep, just you give Mon if you give Montoya enough setups, he's going to end the rally. It's just that simple. The serves off the back wall like that, Fabio, that yeah. Eric's got to do more with. He's getting opportunities. Yeah, it has a ton of pace. That one was trickier than some of the other ones he's had, but just missing some opportunities here. To heal. That's a good one. That's a setup. You know, firing all cylinders. Short. Second serve. Wow, Montoya. That's just a phenomenal shot from Montoya. Didn't necessarily like the serve selection. I thought the lob neck was working pretty well. Yeah, I agree. He mixed it up, you know, and it's easy to say, you know, after the fact. But, you know, he's down 4-12. That's an ace serve. Wow. And so Montoya feeling comfortable. You know, I talked to him yesterday, and... Uh, he told me that it feels good in this court. You know, when he won last year, he's uh -huh. just feeling good. Do we have an ace count for <laughs> this year or this year's uh, tournament? Well, we, we should, definitely. This is one of those tournaments where it does definitely count. 
Ja. Ah, oh. Replay. A serve again. Another one. Uh, Montoya with game point number one. What a great cross court pass. Montoya takes game one 15 4. Robbie, what are your thoughts right there? Man. You know, Rodrigo's just serving well. He, he's hitting a bunch of aces like we've been talking about, mm -hmm. but even ones that are coming off the back wall are going in his favor. Yeah. Eric's not able to catch up with them with their good angles, and that's going to be the deciding factor in game two. All right, two-minute break. After this, we'll be right back on IRT Live. Hi, this is John Criswell. Welcome to Manufacturing Marvel. Today we are in Rockdale, Illinois, approximately 45 miles southwest of Chicago. For over 50 years, KWM Gutterman Incorporated has established itself as the premier and is currently the largest gutter machine manufacturer in the United States. Initially founded by Carl W. Miner Sr. in the early 1960s, this family-owned business has thrived through three generations to continue building the highest quality portable gutter forming machines in the world today. They are masterful in manufacturing KWM's Iron Man gutter machines and nationally recognized as experts in the gutter industry. KWM's entire product line is manufactured at two state-of-the-art locations. Rockdale houses a 45,000 square foot CNC and assembly facility, and Shanahan houses a 15,000 square foot fabrication facility. Adhering to their family values, integrity, and a particularly homegrown way of doing business has made KWM a success story around the globe. KWM gutter machines are sold on five continents, including North and South America, Europe, Africa, and Asia. KWM offers one of the most extensive and sought after lines of gutter machines available on the market today. KWM produces the Iron Man line of gutter machines and currently offers 34 gutter profiles with more in development. This during marvels. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We're live once again here. Game two about to start with Eric Trujillo to the serve. I want to remind everybody the RT will be in Chicago. 39th annual Papa Nicholas Shamrock Shootout. Robbie, I'm excited for, for that event. I got to tell you, it's uh, traditional. Yep. I mean, the only event that's long standing after that one is the Lewis Drug Pro Am, right? That's 44 years. 44 years. This is the 39th. Tough to top. 44 oh, yeah. Years. Antoya with point number one. So, I mean, the game plan for Eric here is not to sound so oversimplified, but he has to return the drive serve left better. Yes. Right? Look, Montoya's going to hit a few aces on him. He's going to get some just right to the corner, double bouncing. But it's the ones that are coming off the back wall, the ones that are turning into setups like the last one, that he has to do more with if he intends to get back into this match. No. So, so he is claiming that. Montoya is not letting him go through, and he has some words for the referee that there's a lot of obstruction. Yeah, you know, he was just so far out of position. Yeah. I just don't think, I think it's the right call. Just a no call, let the point play out. Montoya with the serve. You almost don't, if you're Eric, you almost don't want Allen to call a screen there. Yes. Because those are the ones he has to capitalize on. Mm -hmm. He's like, man. Oh. 
tough. Wow. Wow. So clean. Set up. There it is. And that's the style of rally, Fabio, that I think Eric needs to win. Again, thank you very much for coming up here. Uh, as you know, this is our primary fundraiser for junior racquetball here in Minnesota. And we have yeah, a bunch of I just don't think that's going to cut it as a serve. If you come up by the IRT desk, we are doing a split pot raffle. So you can get one ticket for $5 or five tickets for $20 at the end Great of the wide angle from Eric. Be announced at, I'm sorry, at the banquet tomorrow night. Or you can find the lovely Barb to purchase tickets. Again, you'll split the pot with the house. And Good pickup. Good pickup again, Trujillo. Wow. I think third time's the charm there for Montoya. Yeah, then that's the challenge. I was, I was saying a little earlier, it's just the shorter rallies, the three-shot rallies mm -hmm. when Eric's in the box, Those that's going to translate into success for Eric because the longer the rallies go, they're all going in Montoya's favor. Great shot from Montoya there. Just covering the covering center court extremely well right yeah. now. You know, and it's just an ultimate challenge right now for Eric to move to move Montoya to say it's another one. Eric just can't move him. Seeing a little frustration there from Eric Trujillo. His body language says a lot. Yep. His demeanor as well. He needs to do it like Taylor Swift, just shake it off. <laughs> I don't know if Eric's a Swifty. I don't know if he's gonna. It does look like it. Well, maybe, maybe. Oh, another great shot by Montoya. Yep. Rodrigo just comfortable, right? Just basically doing everything he wants to do. Yeah. First serve doesn't get in, no problem. Half lob. He's getting a setup off the on the third. It's a side out. Yeah, little opportunity there, a little sidewall front wall set up for him in the back. Gets Eric back in the box, 1-5. Good run for Trujillo going yeah. and backtracking. Cross court from mm -hmm. Rodrigo. Guy 
Just short, second serve. I love how low this rally was played. That yeah. ball, I think it was never up more than two feet, maybe one and a half even. And I love how fast and quick they play, how much they encroach, how much they took their time. Just very well calculated on both hands. Yeah, both trying, you know, working the rally, so to speak. Mm -hmm. Missing a few angles, but like you said, they were both in it, attempting the right angles. That's a great get. Oh, speaking of great angle, Eric with the pass. Great shot, three, serving five now. Trujillo just, he's been making Montoya work. Good Point cover again. on the cross. The longer this match has been going, it's been more in the favor of Trujillo. We've not seen an A so far from Montoya. Yeah. That's another unforced error by Montoya. Now we're tied at five apiece. Yep, so far this match for Rodrigo, it's a little heavier sledding than game one. Few more short serves, I'd say, so far. Not getting his first serve in quite the same way yet. Um, we'll see if that changes here at 5 5. Mm -hmm. Oh, that ball. Almost made it to the front yeah. wall. It's a side out through here now. With an opportunity to get ahead here. What a slice by Trujillo. Yeah. He, he looks more confident than he was in game one. Yep. He looks more comfortable. Sometimes it's just edges, right? Yeah. It's Montoya's serve not coming in quite the way he wants to yet. We mentioned in the first game, Eric's serve was, was, he was serving well. Yes. Just not a ton of opportunity for him to get in the box. He wasn't doing enough with the setup that, it, that he got off of it. There's a little a passive pinch there from Eric. The pick up. He's going to pay. Six, six. Montoya in the box. Great serve. Yeah, nothing like a jam serve to just kind of get your serve back in the mix, get a point on the board. He doesn't want to let Montoya get out of range here. Uh, broken string. Montoya showed the referee that there's a broken string. So the RT wants to invite everybody 
to Chicago. 39th annual Papanikas Coffee Shamrock Rock Shootout. And on, on, regardless of what Sudsy may say or not, <laughs> this is the best pizza on the racquetball tour. I agree, 100%. And uh, we're uh, just excited. I mean, I'm, I think you're more excited than I am about that one, right? But uh, that, yeah. But that uh, deep dish that we have over there. Yep. Wow. Good stuff. So make sure you check it out if you're the Illinois area. Of course, Papa Nicholas, big sponsor. Free coffee for every player and participant, which is always so cool. Thanks for the support. There are also tournament sponsors here at this event. Yeah, shout out to Papa Nicholas Coffee. Providing the good stuff. The great stuff, of course. Oh, Montoya <laughs> trying to pay cute on that one. But I, I like the anticipation. I like the ball tracking of Trujillo. Shows a lot of maturity. That quickly into play. Ah, yeah. 7-7, seven, seven, seven. Seven, it's a race to eight now. Very calm. Very, that's a very mature play. You know that Trujillo is coming into his own and puts plays like that. Yep. And he seems very calm. Now, you know, speaking from our experience in doubles, Eric covers the front court just better than most, mm -hmm. right? Like yep. he can fly, dive around, cover yep. both sides, but he can get there on his feet like that last rally. A good serve. Oh, Trujillo. Great return. Putting some magic of his own right there. And that was a solid serve from Rodrigo. Oh, it was. Yeah. But it's like we said at the beginning of this game, that that's what Eric has to do if he wants to get back into this match. Short. Another unforced error by Montoya. Both of them are using that shot plenty. Yeah, that's just, it's tough. I mean, 35 foot splat, yeah. not easy to do. And Montoya is just doing over and over in this match. I want to remind everyone after this one, Conrado Moscoso versus Thomas Carter. They're here, they're warming up, they're getting ready. The point from Montoya. Very small differential here in game two. Game one was, I mean, you see the score is a nine-point differential. You know, they're playing it close to the chest, both of these guys. Yeah. But we haven't seen that Montoya serve, uh, you know, as compelling as we did in game one. Let's see if that changes right now with the drive. Might be a good time for one down the right. But into the right glass, left glass he goes. Montoya. Yeah, I thought Montoya should have pinched that one yeah. shot earlier. Mm -hmm. Thought he had the opportunity. He went down the line. I agree. Second opportunity, not as good. To 
Trujillo to the serve. Down by one. Eight serving nine. Unforced error. Scored winner. Yeah, going for a little much there. So timeout taken by Eddie Trujillo. Players will take a one minute break. We will as well. We'll be back shortly here with game two on IRT Live. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, live once again here. Timeout requested by Eric Trujillo at 10-8. Robbie, your thoughts on that timeout? Yeah, it's a good timeout. You know, Montoya in the box, scored a couple, you know, scored a point. Right at a turning point here at 10-8. It's a good timeout. Little change up. Lob Z to the forehand. Great backhands from Eric. Little shuffling drive serve. Not my favorite from Eric there. I just, his drive serve's been working. Um, I don't see a reason to go and mix that in. Um, and it's tough because, hey, it's 8 10. There's only so many opportunities left in the game. So to use one on that, uh, it's tough. That's tough. See? And that's just a little swing there, right? Yeah. Eric goes for a little off-speed drive. Mm -hmm. Montoya gets back in the box, scores one. Long serve. <coughs> right it right. Oh. Oh, Trujillo with that miss right there. Another unforced error. Wow. He almost read it too well. He yes. got there early mm -hmm. and just. Shot jammed him up. Wow. Montoya. Eric, Eric, Eric. So he goes back to the 
lobs Z. Yep. Gets the ceiling ball out of it. Set up. Good pick up by Montoya. Oh, off the side wall. Rodrigo to cut it off. And the cutoff. That's a smart play by Montoya. Yeah. Not giving any chance to Trujillo. But see, Trujillo throughout that rally had two missed ceiling shots that clipped the left wall and gave Montoya a good opportunity to go on offense. Yep. Eric was in control of that rally for quite a while. Rodrigo works the rally, gets the setup he wants, ends it. I'm going to take this opportunity to thank, of course, Zurich Construction for a safety timeout course constructing athletes and building people's reconstruction to our sponsor I want to thank him for their concern and the safety of our players also want to thank everybody for watching and tuning in uh tour partners gearbox racquetball my pillow of course tour sponsors such as kwm gutterman i want to thank every tournament sponsor as well remember to like our posts share our feed and keep following us on social media we're getting closer to the end robbie Trujillo is still in it, though. It's a matter of siding out and finding his groove. Yep. No timeouts for Eric. Not right. anymore. No. Great serve. Yep. Big setup for Rodrigo. Oh. So yeah. that that was a ceiling shot that you know that happened twice in the last rally. Two missed ones like that, and you know I got to tell you, Trujillo caught a lucky break right there. He did. Let's see if he can use it. Again, just kind of the shuffling drive. It's just, I just don't think it's going to put enough pressure on him in this moment. No. But maybe good for one. There you go. That's all you need, one. Yep. Build up on that. Gain your groove. Move forward. Oh, it's deep. That calls a skip, and he is appealing. So the referee calls a skip. Line judges. Yeah, it stays. Nope. <laughs> That's a block right there. And she's got some raffle tickets there. So please help out. Otherwise, we're going to send very Disney home with you. And you got to feed him. To him. So Set up. Out of that wow, what a oh. great pass. Great pass by Montoya to the right. Got to hand it to him. 13, Only three point differential so far. Trujillo, two points on that last sequence. Still in it. No, we're going the drive serve on first serve here. Just going straight to the lob. Interesting play. Another skip ball from Rodrigo. Mm -hmm. Interesting s sequence of events here. Another opportunity, just couldn't get the ball to the front wall. Montoya, two away. Let's see if he goes back to the drive serve here. Yep. Went to the lob last time. I think it's time to just hit a jam. Set up for Eric. Oh, I didn't put it down. Could get. Good, good pick up. Scooped it. Opportunity for Montoya. Oh. 
put his whole body into that one, but it skipped. Wow. A couple of skips from Rodrigo here at the end, leaving Eric in the match. Wasn't going to miss two in a row. Rodrigo with the drive serve, 13 10. Set up. Oh. Some unforced errors there in the hands of Montoya. He's just prolonging. It's got to be about four forehand skips there at the end. Eric sticking with the drive Z left. That's a double bounce. What is he calling? Oh. Okay, so in my from an angle, point of view, yeah. I saw a double bounce. Anatara says a good shot. Oh. Both say good. Both say good. Wow. Okay. That's a so that was an appeal loss, so no more appeals for Montoya. Wow. That's big. That is big. It's a big moment. Well, the ball doesn't lie, Robbie. Yeah. Yep, I mean, we thought it was two. Um, turns out maybe it, maybe it was. <laughs> So timeout taken by Rodrigo Montoya. Players will take a one-minute break. We will as well. We'll be back shortly here with game number two on IRT Live. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. So no more timeouts left, Robbie. Both of these gentlemen have taken their timeout, so we're in it till the end. Montoya in the drive serve stance. Short serve. Short serve. Short serve. I agree with that one. Not going away. And you know what? That shot by Monta was just really not a good shot. It was just no. straight. It was you know, high enough for Trujillo to get there. He just gave Trujillo a lot of options right there. See, and I, I think that this is the problem with Eric going to the drive Z to the left. He's gone there often, but he hasn't had another serve to mix in from that spot. So it's becoming predictable over time. 
And definitely in the moments right now where he needs it. He needs that to work. Ball there. Oh, wow, Trujillo. He's just not going to let it go so easily. And Montoya needs to figure out another formula because so far it has not been working. Just. God. And we just look at the numbers right there. Trujillo. You know, lost by 11 points in game number one. And here we're almost at the end. We're deep in it, and he's down only by two. So the improvements that he have made have worked. Who's going to be the first to shoot? There you have it, folks. Montoya gets his yeah. first match point. 14 serving 11. He was patient enough, waited yeah. for you to utilize that. Eric just missing his ceiling ball just enough, mm -hmm. not getting it to the corner. Montoya able to take a forehand there. Rips a great pass by Eric. I'm going to take another towel timeout. Brought to us by Zurich Construction. Also want to remind everybody that after this match, our next one is Conrado Moscoso versus Thomas Carter. That's going to be the next one. We've got 15 minutes after this match. And after that one, the last one, Parrilla versus Manilla. What a way to cap off a fantastic Friday. Montoya for the match. Is this it for Trujillo? Oh! Well, wow. So, so basically, he, he filled in his quota of always <laughs> skipping one serve. I definitely remember us having this conversation yeah. in tournaments past. Oh. Always skips a serve, and I'm still shocked. Mm -hmm. oh. And and do, but doing so at match point though. Yeah, <laughs> unbelievable. Match point number I mean, two. I know he's still in the box. I'm mean, still in disbelief standing. <laughs> okay, 14. Second, uh, second chance here. Oh, great one. That's a great one. Oh, he leaves it up. Oh. Well, Toya not happy with that third shot. Montoya just kept it really simple. It just makes those shots look so easy. Just, I would have loved to have seen just a straight in drive serve. Just no shuffle, traditional two step. Put some pressure on Montoya, make him move there fast. Oh, just stuck on the wall there. That's a setup. Montoya, oh, a setup too. firing. Eric yeah, not it. going away. No, he's just biting that right side, and it's just working in his favor. Is that three match point defenses now? Two. Two? Defenses, yeah. Wow. Half lob Nick. That was a good one. Wow. Oh. Trujillo, two away again. But I like that sequence better. Yes. I, I feel like he's exhausted. The yeah. Z serves. Maybe he'll get one more in, but this is just enough mix. <laughs> Great white angle. Yep. Got to skip off of it. And Trujillo now within one of Montoya. Oh, my. So Montoya, a lot to think about here. Remember, no more timeouts left, Robbie. No. 
Oh, he got it over. Oh. Double bounce. I agree. Yeah, Rodrigo's not going to like it because now he knows it's game point. No more appeals left for Montoya Trujillo. Can he take this one into a breaker? Oh, great serve. Oh, it's hanging. Oh, he got it. Oh. Trujillo skipped that one down the line. Wow. Let's see if he doesn't regret that one. He's just smiling. Oh, he knows. He had he a shot. He knows. He shot. Montoya's smiling up there, too. He's trying to not, but he knows, too. Everyone knows. <laughs> All right. Montoya for the match. Oh, it's a great one and an ace to... Ace serve. <laughs> what a way to end the match. Rodrigo Montoya takes this one 15-4, 15-14. Robbie. Ooh. Well, we're going to we're going to go to break and Fabio's going to get ready for player interviews. Hello, I'm Mike Lindell and I'm here to tell you about my new product from my pillow. Towels that actually work. Watch this absorbency test. Here's another towel that we randomly went out and bought. Here's one of my towels with a nice design. I don't know if you can see this, but you could line a swimming pool with this. I mean, this is crazy. Get rid of it. Towels that actually work. What a concept. I'm interrupting this commercial to let you know you can get a six-piece My Towels, regular $69.98, now only $29.98. Or you can save 25% on our brand new kitchen towels made with the same technology as our famous My Towels. Also, we have bath sheets, bath towels, washcloths, hand towels, and so much more. And the best part, with your promo code, your entire order ships absolutely free. So go to MyPillow.com or call the number on your screen. Use that promo code to get deep discounts on all my towels. And for a limited time, your order ships absolutely free. Ya en el segundo yo siento que fue más que nada el cansancio físico, pues ya tres partidos en un día no rindo igual, o sea, a pesar de que sí estuvieron saliendo los servicios, pero al momento de querer ya como que acelerar y cerrar el partido, pues tú sabes, ¿no? Me paraba un poquito mal y entraban esos skips y pues quiera que no la presión de que te vaya alcanzando, alcanzando, se hizo más complicado, pero lo bueno que él volvió cuando tenía que salir. Eric Trujillo ha sido un gran oponente últimamente, la verdad está mejorando su nivel de juego y lo estamos viendo aquí, la verdad que él estaba capitalizando alguno de los errores que le estabas dando y tomando ventaja, pero la verdad es de que mostraste mucha madurez en el juego y, y, y dominaste mentalmente, eh, ¿traías una estrategia en el, segundo, en el segundo juego a diferencia del primero? Este, no, pues como mencionas Eric, o sea, es de los jóvenes que vienen empujando la siguiente generación y él, pues se ve su entrenamiento, se ve que no falta las paradas del tour y va agarrando experiencia y como mencionas, pues también yo una vida entregada al racket y pues en momentos claves donde uno muestra un poquito más la tranquilidad, ¿verdad? a lo mejor no salen las cosas como quieren, pero pues uno está enfocado en lo que está haciendo y yo siento que más que nada fue eso, mantenerle esa seguridad, que él vea que no estamos dejando ningún partido y pues pelear hasta el final. Well, Rodrigo, you're the current defending champion of the Minnesota Hall of Fame. So you got a lot of writing on this one. You, you know, anybody you want to say something to any of your fans in the U.S.? Yeah, thank you everybody for coming. As you say, this was my first IRT title, so I'm happy to be back. Uh, these are excellent course for me, and I hope to keep going and keep advancing in this tournament. Oh, Rodrigo, congratulations again. Anybody you want to say hello to and thank? Uh, to my sponsor, my family, my wife, and all the people that came here to watch us playing and the best racquetball in the world. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching. In 15 minutes, we'll come back. Conrado Moscoso versus Thomas Carter here on IRT Live. <laughs>